Alrighty, welcome back to Black Magic Forkery. But before we begin, yep, gonna do a little bit of shameless self promo. I know not everyone here necessarily watches the gaming stuff, but just in case, a few new shirts out. If you're interested, they're not even limited time. They're just there for you, so you can get them or not get them whenever you feel like. Different link though: represent.com/store slash Captain Sparkle. So you got a little store in there. I'm wearing one of them now. It says, so we back in the mine. It's got a big design on the back and stuff. I'll, I'll cycle them out and things like that as I record the videos. But anyway, just mentioning it in case, link in the description. All right, let's start off with number 19, which is how to do skeleton art properly. Oh, you can wear 3D glasses and it's gonna change, yup. Oh, I saw this coming, dude. I totally saw this coming, as did everybody else, literally. But that's pretty cool, dude. That's gotta be like really distracting. Oh no, I guess what you do is you must just actually paint while wearing, like you wear all red or you wear all blue glasses while you're painting and it just filters out the other color, right? That'd be so trippy to just basically block out half of your art after you finished half of the thing and you're onto the next layer. That'd actually be really cool to do every single element of like a body structure you do like the skeletal system circulatory system muscular and you just layer it with different colors that'd be so awesome well what wait is this gonna be a self-drive i'm super confused is this gonna be a self-driving motorbike or it's just like self-balancing wait i can't figure out what's happening here wait is this bike self-balancing and it can just follow the heck? And you can put a person on it and it will still self-balance? Dude, can you imagine how convenient that must be? Like you don't even have to get off your bike when you're at a stoplight or something like that. Or not get off, but you don't have to put your foot down to keep yourself in place. I'm sure a lot of people who ride motorbikes out there, which I am not one, would be like, eh, it'd be hard to get used to. I'd prefer to just put my foot down just because it's kind of the normal workflow. But I don't know, this is kind of a novelty thing. I honestly don't even know if that's the point of the point. It's just like they pranked people by making a bike follow them around. I guess it's easier than, you know, pushing your bike through a building. It can just follow you through the building and everyone can be like, uh, what's happening here? This is the future, ladies and gentlemen. Next, it'll be your car that just follows you next to you when you go into your office. It'll be able to go upstairs and all that stuff. Tesla working on it for sure. Which is stick and rope? Okay, so we got a, a buoy. And we got a, hold on, what it, so it allows you to pull the thing through, oh god, I need to see this in like super slow motion, how does it actually do that? I actually can't completely tell what's happening, it looks like, so it's actually releasing the rope for just a split second, and then it catches it on another hook that's on the other side of whatever you're trying to pass it through, that'd be really convenient for boat stuff, like trying to, attach your boat when you're pulling it into the parking space or something like that because that's what it's called the parking space for your boat a boat slip i believe is the proper term nifty huh the dentist we all needed as a kid oh we've seen this one before actually so we can take a pass on it we've uh, we've actually seen that one dentist doing magic tricks i believe in the past i commented that i still would not be okay with the dentist even if that yep mm -mm, i hate the dentist load of junk on a table uh, it's gonna like project with a shadow and and do some kind of image on the paper 100% I've seen that not this but I've seen this style of thing before what is wait What in the actual world how though he was so nonchalant about it and then at the end he's like no I got a smile I can't contain this he's like, I, I spent a lot of time on it. how do you even do that what in the world dude I thought it was just gonna be some kind of like you can at least tell what it's supposed to be but not that it looks like an actual painting how do you get it to be? It's like different shades. It's not just shadow and not shadow. It's like different degrees of shadow and shading and stuff. How, okay. I don't understand, dude. Mission impossible. <laughs> oh boy. All right, how are we gonna get Black Magic Forkery clip out of... Excuse me, what? Wait, what is ha... ha okay, first off, were you filming? because you thought that was gonna happen? Secondly, how did you react so quickly? How did you even re-, re I would not have reacted that quickly and grabbed the pasta out of there. The pasta would have just made it to the top and then I would have sat there like, is it just gonna stay there? Is it gonna get ejected? What's gonna happen? This is the best title I've ever seen for a post in the history of my life. Mission Impossible, it's escaping the freaking. oh my God. Everything about this is amazing. Thank you for the quality title. 
Well played, but why were you filming in the first place? Was it for this reason? I guess generally you wouldn't be filling up the pasta pot after, so probably for this reason, right? You'd have already filled it with water, you'd be boiling the water, then you put the pasta in, because I know how to cook. I cook lots. Every, definitely once a year at least, <laughs> I cook something. Maybe every two years. Vase changes color in the sunlight. Okay. Wait, what the heck? Can it change to different colors though, or is it just purple or not purple? And also, how does that work? I do, how does, wait, how do you see like no amount of purple at all before? And is it gradually changing more and more purple? Is it something that's reactive to the sunlight or are there fibers in there that are purple and get illuminated? I feel like it's a gradual change to purple, which means that it's actually, it's like reacting to the sunlight. Not that there's some kind of like fiber optics that get illuminated and are purple and you can't see them unless there's like direct sunlight on them. It's pretty cool though. And I don't know how, I don't know what's going on, which is kind of the story of most of the stuff on this subreddit, but it's cool. A massive boulder getting pushed around on top of a fountain. Oh yeah, 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 we, we've seen this one before as well. Liquid Admantium self heals. What do you mean by this? Oh God, it's gonna like come back into place, dude. All right, guys, you're gonna need to be careful about this. All right, I've seen enough superhero movies, seen enough like anime to realize this is, this is where the bad guys come from. These are the bad guys that you're like, all right, whoo, demonetized them into a few pieces and uh, we win. We win, we got him. And then the good guy's walking away and then in the background just everything is forming back together and then oh, all right, there's the bad the bad guys, no, no problem, unscathed completely. Well, it, the, the solution always seems to be you just gotta blast the pieces small enough that they can't reassemble or, or get the core or something. It's always the same. But either way, please, please, just like Elon Musk is warning us against developing AI that's way too smart, just, just please keep this away from the bad guys. This is gonna go real poorly. We're gonna get Terminators, okay? We don't need this. This pool table. Is it a pool table that's gonna look like a pool? It is! That's pretty cool, you got a projector on top and it has to actually track the movement of the balls. Oh, what the heck? The fish are like running away. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. That seems a little bit cheaty, I'm not gonna lie. Having the pool table like show you exactly where your balls are gonna go, isn't that kind of, you know, isn't the point of the game that you have to figure that out yourself? But I guess it's a learning instrument or something. Making a dome out of sugar. Oh, this is gonna be like the uh, the balloon at Alinea. I've, I've seen the chef's table episode on Alinea. I really wanna go and eat there. And it looks absolutely delicious. I wonder if this is actually at Alinea. No, I guess not, because they're not doing the full on balloon. But they, they serve a dish there that's like, Oh no, we have seen this, we've seen this here. And I probably commented that I thought it was Alinea and then it wasn't Alinea and then here we are. Again, repeating myself so that people on my subreddit, on my subreddit videos can be like, hey, look at him reacting the exact same way to multiple clips. <laughs> isn't, isn't that funny? They serve a balloon, it's a dessert, it's like a sugar balloon, it's really cool. I want it. They're booked very far out. Maybe this would stop my kids from grabbing my phone. All right, that's, that's wild. That would only work from one angle though, right? So I'm assuming, because on the on the iPhone, they have like the, the face tracking thing, right? Well, you, you the face ID unlock, you point at your face awkwardly. Not the biggest fan of the feature, to be completely honest, because half the time it doesn't work. And then you also, it'll be like, nah, you actually have to type in your password anyway. And anyway, got some gripes about it. But yeah, it's obviously doing the face ID tracking and then angling it according to where you're at. Someone over here though, looking at it, if the, and if the camera wasn't like at your eyes, it'd be like, uh, this is weird looking. That's not lining up with uh, what I'm seeing. Still though, pretty, pretty cool use of the tech. The only issue is, of course, it only works for one person. Same issue with you know, adaptive camouflage and cloaking is it's based upon the reference point of each individual set of eyes. So it's pretty hard to figure out how you make it work on like a mass scale of everybody looking at it, you know? Even though I'm sure they'll still figure out a way because there are smarter people out there. Too smart. They're gonna be the bad guys who can self-heal with adamantium. Give that man a dollar. We've seen that one before, old repost. A 3D printed sundial. The clock counts in 20 minute intervals. Wait, the design only works in the Northern Hemisphere. Sorry, 10% of the population or whatever it is that lives in the Southern Hemisphere. Sorry, Australians and, and 
people in South America, the lower, lower half. Sorry guys. Anyway, that's pretty crazy. What, that it can actually, you have all of the freaking, all the possibilities printed into the thing at different angles. Wow, the sun will illuminate it pro, oh my God. How much, I'm trying, how, how do you even do that? You, you keep like doing angling the light source at different angles in the 3D software and then you have to just make sure to engineer your 3D object so that the light shadows the proper thing each time you... God, that's wild. That's crazy. Maybe there's some program that can automatically do it, but geez. And sorry, they, they chose to just focus on the, <laughs> the hemisphere that contains the majority of the people out there. Sorry, you guys. Eat your bad ping time for a lot of games, and then also, you can't get this sundial. It's a bummer. This laser oil remover is the tool of legends. Okay, wow. What? It's lighting the air on fire! Jesus, this is horrifying! Oh my god! Wait, hold on. Is it lighting on fire because the oil is catching on fire and then the oil is like evaporating into the beam of the laser? Or is this thing just so gnarly that the air just straight up catches on fire? I'm sorry, I don't want to be anywhere near that. I guess you get a nice, nice clean engine block after the fact, but oh my god. This is some next level power washing... prawn. Like, everybody on the subreddit of power washing prawn all of a sudden just got put to shame by this thing. This also removes rust, and it's only $13,000 for a 50-watt model on Amazon. I'm gonna be honest, I actually figured this was a lot more expensive than $13,000. This looks like something that if someone was like, oh yeah, this costs like $200,000, I'd be like, yeah, I believe it. So, it's expensive, but you can basically own a futuristic beam cannon for the low, low price of a small car. That's kind of a cool trade-off. <laughs> Jesus. It's terrifying. The way this monk balances on this pole. Is he just, he's just gonna chew. What? All right. Dude, here's here's what I need you to do. I need you and Rodney Mullen or Daywon Song to like meet up and you can teach them this and they can teach you how to do some Caspers on a skateboard. Because basically this is the same thing as a Casper on a skateboard, but just with a, a larger board that's much skinnier. But it's the same principle, and I bet that they could teach you how to get into this without using your hands. And then, and then you could do it on a skateboard, and you could teach them how to do this on a pole. To completely. This is, this is what we need, alright? Absolutely. Freaking awesome pole Casper flip. Break the bottle. What? Is he gonna break it by blowing into it? How is it? You're, okay, your lung strength is not that much that you can break a bottle by blowing into it. What is about to happen? I'm so confused. Looks like he's prepping his- Are you gonna break a bottle with your teeth? Don't do that. That sounds like a bad idea. Are you- what? I'm so scared right now. Please don't try this at home, whatever he's about- What? That's not- how they, You can't blow out a bottle with your lung capacity. There's no way! There's not a chance. Are you kidding me? That's not possible. The top comment says perhaps he spits something from his mouth to shatter the glass. God, you'd still have to spit something with like such high velocity. How? I guess people could probably spit things pretty hard if they've been practicing a long time. Still impressive, but um, yeah, there's no way you can't you can't blow out the bottom of a freaking beer bottle. It's impossible. Lenticular portrait in a mirror. Okay, that's kind of a cool idea. All those hologram card things that you would get at like a comic store when you're buying your Pokemon cards. Oh yeah, I can hang this up and then in the mirror I can see two different angles at the same time and I can see both images and it'll be really cool and I don't know why I never thought about that before. Not that it really impact, I probably wouldn't just have a bunch hanging in side of rooms, but still a good thought. A really obvious one and I, I, don't, I don't know why I didn't think of it. And apparently neither did anyone else because it made it to like number two post on Black Magic Forkery even though everyone's like, oh yeah, no, I know what these are. Just didn't think about that. And the top for the last month. Waking up the spirits on a frozen lake. Uh... Okay. Wait, is, are there gonna be like a bunch of fish that just... come to life or something? What's gonna happen here? What is that? Okay, there's something under the water. I'm so confused. I need to see this again. So the process is... 
Smash ice on a lake. Cool. And what? And then there's a thing under the water. What is that? It's hard to see, but it's there, and it's kind of just like swimming around. It's, it's a very subtle thing for the top of Black Magic Forkery, but... Oh, hold on, is there water? There must be... Is there water? Is there sound? There must be sound on this one. Okay. Let's rewatch this full screen with sound. Here we go. Okay, so it sounds, that sounds crazy, actually. And then, but there was, the, the, there's the ghost under the ice, did you see that? It's subtle, but it's there, there's a freaking ghost that's like, swirling around. They summoned some kind of underwater ghost being. You guys better run, actually, like, if you're there past sundown, I think it's about to get pretty bad. Bro, that'd be wild, just like, imagine there's a house on the other side of the lake and you hear that, and you're like, uh... Is there like a tsunami coming? This is definitely an enclosed lake, so I don't know how that'd be a thing, but now I'm concerned. What is that? Okay. That's that's cool though. I guess just the sound of the ice going across, but the weird thing is the, the ghost under the water. Don't know what's happening with that. Anyway, that's it for the last month of Black Magic Forkery. I hope you've enjoyed. Make sure to like if you liked. Check out the playlist if you want to catch more Black Magic Forkery, and subscribe to the channel if you want more videos and stuff. And once again, represent.com slash store slash cabin sparkles if you're interested in any of the new t-shirt stuff. Link in the description. Alright, see ya.